Hey what's going on, welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to be taking a look at NEAR protocol. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now let's jump straight into the TA. Taking a look at the daily chart, we have a Fibonacci retracement setup from the swing high in February 2023 down to the swing low setup in January 2023. And you can see that we briefly lost this low. Once we started retracing here, we dropped below the first Fib level and then we had an instant recovery with a higher low printed after that and another higher low coming into play right now. And you can see that we are running into this resistance block above us that's set up between $1.90 down to $1.53. And if I zoom in and take some trend lines, you can see that we possibly are looking at some sort of a resistance here being built up above us. And uh, one would say this is a rising wedge, but we know that rising wedges are usually found in uptrends. So in terms of this local uptrend, this is a this is a valid um, rising wedge, right? So if this would have been a massive, massive uh, rising wedge playing out at the bottom here, uh, usually we don't see that, obviously. So they are found in these uptrends. So since this is a small fa rising wedge on this small fractal, uh, it is valid. And we are potentially going to be looking at a retest of this support where the wedge was initially created. And that's $1.33. I would set up some buy limit orders here if you're looking to enter right now. And I would definitely wait before jumping into any purchases over here because it does look like we're going to be seeing a pullback either to $1.25 or we're going to be retesting, like I said, the support of the rising wedge here or the point where the rising wedge was created. Now, in a very bearish scenario, we would obviously be coming back down to the low that we printed here in June 2023, just last month. We would be retesting $1.17. So if you want to set up some buy limit orders, uh, just in case we do see a dip, feel free to do that. Here are some levels for you to look out for. You can pause the video and take a look at them. Now, if we are going to see a stronger pullback. Let's say we're going to see a massive drop and we're going to get a move uh, below the current June low, which I wouldn't really want to see because we want to start creating some sort of an uptrend here. If we keep losing support levels, then we're just continuing the downtrend. And that's not what we are really looking for because we want to get into the bull market, obviously. So taking a look at this support block between $1.10 and $0.86, cents, this is going to be a massive level for us to hold based on this 2020 trading range. And we could dump down this low if we have a flash crash, if we have some sort of a major event that's going to cause all financial markets to crash. In that case, near protocol can dump down below a dollar just briefly before recovering, kind of what we saw here in 2020. But I don't think Nier was trading back then in March when we had the COVID dump. So a similar situation could happen. Just be aware of that. Have some funds on the sidelines just in case. And if we take a look at the daily RSI, you can see that we are breaking above this yellow resistance trend line and we're potentially going to be looking at a back test of support and another leg up. Maybe that's what's going to be happening if you're looking for a swing trade or a short term trade, I would definitely wait right now because this is not where you want to be entering. You're about to lose the support. So not a very good entry. I would wait for the RSI to drop back to this blue support block. This is where I would be looking for some entries, although I think this was set up on the no, this was set up on the daily. It's it's the right time frame here. So you can see we have a support block set up from the index of 32.7 down to 28.3 and there are multiple points of contact here and you can see every time you dipped into the block you had a move to the upside sometimes you even went lower and we do have another support level at 24.9 if you want to catch the bottom so to speak and you can see the last time we were down here was back in June 2023 and this was a perfect retest of this uh, previous uh, resistance turned support so if we're going to be doing something similar, uh, feel free to buy in once you see the RSI down here. But this was definitely the time to be buying near, right? When you, when you were sitting at the oversold position and based on the price action chart, that was also a very good buying opportunity. Now let's switch over to the weekly chart. 
And before we continue with the video, I quickly want to mention my Patreon that's linked down below in the description. If you enjoy my content, you want to get more exclusive content, and you want to support me at the same time, definitely feel free to check out the Patreon because you're going to get a 7-day free access on my Patreon and an instant access to all of my content since October 2021, which is when I started. You'll get access to content like exclusive weekly podcasts, and we're starting to invite guests already. We have 40 plus low cap gem posts. We have a bunch of project uh, reviews. We have a bunch of resources that are going to help you save time and make more money with this upcoming bull market. So this is definitely a great exchange of value for the both of us. And once again, there's a seven day free trial. Feel free to check it out. You can leave any time and let's continue with the video. Taking a look at the weekly chart, you can see that we have a major resistance level above us, this yellow trend line that we've been retesting uh, in October last year, in February this year, in April this year, and maybe we're going to be looking at another move to the upside here and another retest. If that ends up happening, we are potentially looking at a swing trade uh, opportunity. Maybe this happens closer to August, maybe September. We end up running into the trend line uh, because we are looking at a bull trap this August slash September. That's what usually happens, and we've seen it play out four or five years in a row now, and that's why I'm expecting a move to the upside in the next few months. And after that, we could probably see another dip before we start moving into the bull market. So anything can happen, obviously. This is just speculation at this point based on previous history. But breaking above this yellow trend line would definitely be very bullish. If the volume indicator comes into play at that point and we see a lot of volume coming in, so we are confirming the breakout, and then we have a proper back test of support, that would mean we're probably going to start moving uh, and continuing with this uptrend. And if we end up breaking this uh, August 2020, 22 high, I would then say that this was our bear market low. We're not coming back lower, but we need to break above that. We need to break above $5.76. Until that happens, you know, we're still good to continue down and maybe retest 82 cents and maybe even lower. Who knows? But in case we do drop lower, you have a Fibonacci retracement here from February to January. On the weekly chart, you can see we briefly dropped below that, pretty much the exact same fib from the previous chart, but the 1.618 here is sitting at 82 cents, so beware of this target. If we end up dumping below the swing low of the fib, we could end up down here. And taking a look at the entire chart here, let's see what our possible targets to the upside are going to be looking like if we assume that we just printed the bear market bottom. So we're going to be looking at $43 and $65 on the weekly chart. Those would be our 1.272 and 1.414 FIB levels respectively. But once again, we do need to see a firm bottom before we can start setting those targets to the upside. And taking a look at the Let's actually switch over to the three day chart here. You can see we did retest this support block that was previously our resistance. And I told you guys once that happens, it's going to be a very good buying opportunity. And lo and behold, we did see a nice retest. That's when you should have been entering. And for the longest time, we've had this level as resistance, as you can see. Then eventually we broke above in January this year, and then we made our way back down to retest it as support, and off we went. So maybe we continue from here, maybe we don't. I'm not going to predict the future, but you can see that there is some sort of a resistance trend line here that we're failing to break above, and this could cause us to go back down and maybe retest the support block one more time, or maybe a retest this over here. So this level over here that we uh, had a bounce off of in May 2023, just as a potential as a potential area for you to set up some buy limit orders at. But all in all, if you want to be entering right now and you're looking for the long term, I would say this is not the worst uh, possible area to be buying at. Uh, there is a potential for us to see a pullback, like I said, but from where we are right now, this is a 25% move from the bear market bottom or from the presumed bear market bottom. So you're still good to buy for the long term. If you don't have any near tokens, this is especially an important area for you to be looking at as a buying opportunity because if your average buying price is going to be below $2, you're going to thank yourself later on when you're selling at $40, $50 during the bull market. And that's pretty much going to cover it for Near Protocol. I want to thank you all for watching this video, guys. Make sure to share the video around if you think it's going to help out other people or other new investors. And stay safe and take care.